Hello, my name is Nicoletta. I'm a taxi driver in Athens. My father used to be a taxi driver. My brother is a taxi driver. So as you can understand, we are uh, the second generation of uh, taxi drivers in the family. We have more than 14,000. Of course, 20,000 drivers because some of them are working shifts. And from them, two to 3,000 are women drivers. Mostly the women drivers are driving uh, daytime because uh, at night the dangers are bigger. You will not find them too much on the street by raising a hand. They work on uh, pre-booking jobs and uh, transportations with clients they know. It's more safe to work that way. I work to a Skoda Octavia of 2009. I am reading this car from an owner in a very good price. And the kilometers, more or less, that I do every day are 200 kilometers. I work six days per week, and this car has the obligation to change in 18 years of life. Here in Greece, you will see not many people are wearing the helmets when they are driving their motorbikes because they don't want to ruin their hair and they feel like they're getting hotter. And now we will stop at the parliament to see the change of the presidential guards we have in front of the parliament wearing traditional uniforms. It's something all tourists want to see. The others are leaving. The shoes they're wearing are very, very heavy. Approximately two and a half kilos per shoe. It has nails on the bottom. They are staying here for an hour without moving, without blinking, without smiling, without doing anything. You will see the supervisor will go and fix them well, how they should be. And in this position, they're going to stay for one hour. In half of an hour, they will do a small, again, walking, but the same ones. Here is Sidagma Square. It's our main square where the parliament is and where everyone that wants to demonstrate is coming. At the ages of 2012 to 2014, we had demonstrations almost every day. Every day people were coming here, breaking, uh, putting fires, yelling, screaming to the politicians inside the parliament. This square for sure has seen too many uh, demonstrations. Here, as you can see, we reach to Cabetus. It's a central hill, it's a place where we bring many times tourists. And from up there, for sure, you can see Athens 360 degrees all around. No taxi driver knows all the alleys, all the streets of, the, of Athens. My father did, because they raised up on a time without GPS, without any help, so they had to learn the street. Whomever comes here and stay here for some time, you can't miss having some philosophy. You will stay, you will feel the sun, you will feel the energy of, of this country. You will feel the true taste of good products like feta cheese, like tomatoes, like olive oil, like excellent wines. And this sun and this fresh air and Mediterranean, how can you not be philosopher? I mean, this country gives birth to philosophy, not the people, not the Greeks. All people can be philosophers in Greece. Athens changed a lot, winter to summertime. Winter time are mostly locals, and summertime we have too many people. One of the good things that the economical crisis made for us was that we have been heard around the world. When the economical crisis began in 2009, we had approximately seven to nine million tourists per year. At 2019, before the virus, we closed up the season in more than 35 million tourists. It's almost three times the population of Greece. Yeah. 
Δε θα πιστεύει τα μάτια σου σαν να έχει καταράχτη. Αν μπακάρει το νούμερο ένα draft, ξυπνά από τη χειμερία του Νάρκη. Και σβάλει στα drum kits του χάρτη. Όπω στη Ρώμα και η αυτοκρατορία Εφράγκη. Το πατάω σαν κόκκινο χαλί, εσύ το πατάω σαν άρκη. Όταν έχω το εκτόπισμα του χάρτη. I am in a group of taxi drivers that we are keeping our eyes open not to have again personal cars in the city's transportation. We had Uber X for three years. We had demonstrations, we had a very big stri strike in 2011 where all taxis around Greece were and it was something unbelievable. Not even one taxi was working for uh, approximately one month. The government saw their fault, they saw it wouldn't work, so they stopped it. We managed to take what we wanted, no Uber X, no nothing of those. Everyone went out of Greece. <laughs> They are talking about opening the timing zone we have, so of course Uber might want to come again in our country. All colleagues, we are with our eyes open and for sure we will not allow that. We will begin a war, as we have done many times. The money that this country earns from the tourism should stay in the country the same. These big companies take the money outside those countries and make them more poor. The good thing is that whenever we needed to be united and fight for an enemy, even if it was a minister, a government, a company, the taxi drivers are becoming a fist. In order to hear our voice, Taxi's voice, we create a radio broadcast, me and the colleague, and every Friday, 10 to 12, we call politicians, people of the syndicate, and we talk about the issues that the taxi has. Today is Friday, and of course, we are on our way to broadcast. In a little bit, we will be on air. <laughs> Καλησπέρα αγαπημένοι συνάδελφοι, είμαστε εδώ και στο mail taxinomi.gr We have called people from all parties because we want them to take position for the taxi. So we have them like bonded. When they have the power, we are going and saying, you said that. We have proofs, you, you gave us our word. And he, if they are not true to their word, believe me, taxis are the best places to punish a politician. The best way to make the conscience of a people not to like someone is a taxi. Respect them and give them the weapons to live a dignified life, to have a free time for our families, for our friends, for our personal time. If you talk to other taxi drivers, many of them are working for 14 to 16 hours. It's unbelievable. You don't work to live, you live to work. So this is, this is wrong. We will all give a very big fight against of the politics and politicians that want to hurt the taxi. This is our job, this is what we do, and this is what we will keep on doing to support and protect taxi and, of course, our dignity. I love, I adore, I, I, <laughs> I can find the word to say how much I love this work because I love driving. I love communicating. I love meeting new people, learning things. The taxi is like a university and the taxi driver is professor. It might make you laugh, but imagine how many people we are giving transportation to and all of them have some things to tell you. <laughs> 